Uh, Lulz was 404 from Cozy yesterday. So we'll talk to him about that, his thoughts on Fuentes and their organization. And also, he did an interview last night, which wasn't um, the best idea. He went on with the Kino Casino, which was a completely dishonest hit job. And should I just get into that now? Maybe I should. I don't know. Let me try to find somewhere to put this down. Um, I saw part of it. So I was actually woke up in the middle of the night. <laughs> And, you know, he was going to come on here already. And I was getting reports back about what was happening. And then I just got up and watched it myself. And the casino has revealed themselves as snakes, quite honestly, if you didn't know that already. <laughs> if you didn't know that already, um, they're more focused in trying to run down power chat, trying to run down me uh, than they are taking on America first at this point. And they proved that last night, trying to frame their discussion with Lulz in a certain way um, and then just cut him off and threw him off the stream, basically, when they weren't uh, getting the cooperation they thought they were supposed to get. Now, I have taken a couple of uh, pokes at them for sure due to them continue, continuing to take pokes at me. But Bumpkin sent $3. Everyone donate $3 <laughs> right now. Or you are gay. I'm like Nick Fuentes. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I have I was serious about what I said, uh, trying to bring as many people on board as possible as far as going at America First. And, you know, I thought that was a worthwhile thing to say. I still feel that way. But um, after I saw that last night, and it was a completely dishonest hit job on Power Chat, which they used for quite some time, um, they tried to frame it as if, Nick Fuentes is on the board of Power Chat, which he is not. I know that for a fact, as he, as if he had some type of creative control over Power Chat, which he does not, and I know that for a fact. And it was just pretty much dishonest in, in almost every way you can be dishonest. And it was clearly set up. They, they took shots at me, basically, for using Power Chat, which I'm going to continue to do. And their whole presentation was dishonest, so they can go fuck themselves. Uh, of course, we have other options as well. If you don't want to use Power Chat, that's perfectly fine. I forgot to mention Rumble Rants as well. So there are different options if you don't like Power Chat. I do, and I, I think it's added a lot of fun to the show. Uh, it's added a lot of value to the show for the Super Chatters, and I have no plans to stop using it. If you don't want to use it, that's fine. There are other options, as I said. Um, but it was just it was just completely dishonest. Uh, PPP going on this, you know, moralistic tirade when he's docks people and done all kinds of dirt. It just rings really hollow. And then, I mean, Worski, enough said, right? <laughs> Do I really need to go through uh, his record? I mean, uh, it, it was it was really kind of bizarre. And I was pissed when I saw I was pissed at Lulz, actually, for going on there in the first place uh, because – you know, they're not going to give anybody a fair shake that they've had beef with. Um, you know, I know they're trying to get Baked Alaska on there. I don't think that's going to happen. And um, I advised against that because they're lying faggots. Excalibur sent $3. I predicted that those two faggots would ultimately benefit Fuentes. They don't have any motive or self-gain overlap with the coalition. Fuck Canadians. Fuck them yesterday. Fuck them today. <laughs> Fuck them tomorrow. Build the Northern Wall. Well, you know, and it would have been one thing if it was, you know, a hard interview. First off, this fat fuck PPP can't even do a real interview, uh, and neither can Worski. But it would have been one thing if it if it just had a hard edge to it or there were some critical questions. I mean, I plan to ask uh, a few critical questions myself uh, whenever Lulz comes on here. That would have been one thing, but it was a clearly stacked deck from Jump Street, and PPP knew what he wanted to do. You could tell by how he cut him off and called him a lion faggot and did all this. Like, that was a pre-planned stunt, basically. Worski sitting there cackling like a hyena in the background the whole time and then bragging how he played good cop. Worski, you're a retard. You didn't play anything. You're just a fucking dumbass. And Lulz was, I mean, quite frankly, Lulz was dumb to go on there. And I said a few harsh things about him on Twitter. And I still like Lulz, and I've talked to him since, but it was a mistake. 
Killstream old fag sent $3 Kino Casino banned me from kit last night for saying Ralph won. I bet. Why can't those idiots just take the L like men? Well, they banned me as well. So I was in there at the start and they were already talking shit about me. So I said a few things in their chat and then they banned me, which is fine. You know, ban whoever you want. But, you know, um, I'm more interested, even though I'm addressing this, I'm more interested in taking on America first, taking out America first than I am with these two retards. And so I'm trying to keep um, I'm trying to keep from going into uh, full war mode because I feel like it's a distraction, but I uh, also feel like it needs to be addressed. And so that's why I'm doing that. Um, it, it really is like a smoke screen, whether they intend to or not. It, it's a it's a smoke screen uh, distraction from the mission at hand. And you notice there's a lot of stuff swirling about me personally and otherwise. And I haven't talked about any of that really besides a couple comments about, you know, the situation with my wife. But even that I haven't gone uh, in depth with and only addressed it because either it's A on my mind and B, like she was a part of the operation, part of the show. Um, but there's a lot of other stuff that I've just completely taken off the table for a reason because it's a distraction from what I'm doing. Uh, it's a distraction from my message and it's, it's not really worth indulging in. Normally I would say this about them, but, um, they made it, uh, the top flight, uh, issue last night. So maybe not the top flight issue, but one of the top flight issues. And yeah, I have taken a couple pokes. I took a poke at them at the end of the fuck cozy festival, because quite frankly, they couldn't put on a show like that if they wanted to. And they don't cause they're lazy. They could never in a million years put on a show like that. The things you see on the kill stream, you'll never see on there. All the guests, Ramsey Paul's coming in tomorrow night. We're going to have uh, Simon Roche back on soon. He just emailed me back today. Tom Pappert's coming on Thursday to review the debate with me live and you know just a bone fight just look at the guests we had on friday and the guests we've had on the past month that's something you're not gonna see over there um you know it's kind of a it's it's a it's spam to my filet mignon here uh, on the kill stream and it's it's always been that way maybe it, things did slack a little bit over on cozy for sure but uh, the kill stream is traditionally in terms of quality, in terms of quality of guests, in terms of quality of presentation, head and shoulders above what they're doing. And that's just a fact. And the only reason I said those things is because they were talking shit. So their answer to that was to try to attack power chat, try to attack, um, you know, the pillars uh, of, of this show and other shows using the excuse that, uh, you know, certain cozy streamers, a lot of them use power chat. Well, that's true. Anybody can use power chat because it's an open sign up. People in the chat can go and sign up for power chat and use that on their stream. It's just like stream labs. It's just like stream elements. Um, you know, several other services that I use here are open sign up. Anybody can use this. And fat boys reasoning was, well, why don't you kick the, why don't you kick the pedophiles off of power chat? First off, it's an open platform. If you start banning everybody, uh, it changes the nature of that open platform. Are there people I would like to see banned from there? Yeah, I mean, for sure. But that's not what it is. And they didn't even ban Kino Casino from using it, even though I know for a fact there was huge pressure on them to do so. Now, Kino Casino eventually, you know, did that on their own and then, you know, derided it as a Fed op, which it's not. And that was their decision. And for that reason, that's enough why I think it was a huge mistake for Lulz to go on there because he was never going to get a fair hearing, but that's what happened. They also use a service called Dono Chat, which is run, quote unquote, by Andrew Wilson. Big Papa Fascist is um, a moniker that he has went by, and we usually bill him that way on the show. They use a service called Dono Chat. Oh, wait, I'm getting a message here. Yeah, Ali doesn't use power check. Nick doesn't. So who's the supposed pedos using it? Well, I mean, you could argue that members of the pedophile cult using it, you know, I, I guess I could, you know, I can see that line of, of reasoning, but it's an open platform. Um, I don't think that everybody using it on cozy is a pedophile. Now they do support the pedophile cult. That's true. But you know, if you just go through and start tossing people off, 
even people you don't like, then that changes the nature of the service. Nick doesn't use it. He stole the source code for PowerChat and uses uh, stream payments, which there's a lot of evidence. I don't know if this has been confirmed yet or not, so I'll hedge a little bit, that Critical.Video actually runs stream payments. Critical.Video is actually the company who runs the infrastructure of DonoChat. Now, you may remember Critical Dot Video because we talked about this a few weeks ago. Critical Dot Video also is involved, seemingly, although that's not been fully confirmed. You know, you saw the white label page ran by Josiah Helm, whose nickname is Hiding, and he's Assistant Groiper, basically the second in command of America First, and runs a company called Stream Sale. Let me see if I can pull that up. Here's critical.video first off. We showed this page a few weeks ago. You see critical.video? This this is their actual page. Now, let me see if I can pull up. Where is that at? So you see this page, right? Then you go here and look at stream cell. It's basically the same page. Now, it's a little different, but not much. This is stream sale, which I believe, although we don't have full confirm on that, maybe we'll get it during the show, that Stream Sale actually runs Stream Payments, which is the super chat system that Nick Fuentes uses himself. And if they run it, then that means the infrastructure is hosted by Critical.Video. If you look at Dono Chat, let me see if I can find this. I think I have this pulled up. I might have to pull it up over here. I thought I uploaded that before the stream, but maybe not. Let me pull that up. Now, if you go to Dono Chat, which I never have. <laughs> I never have, actually. But, well, I did a little investigating. Let me see if I can pull this up. Damn it. I think it's in the other folder. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, I'll pull this up. If you go to Dono Chat, which is the most used payment processor, the top payment processor for the Kino Casino, if you go to Dono Chat, which I'm going to try to pull up for you for some reason. It's not copying the fucking link. Okay. All right. And I was going to do this later, but why not just do it now since I already started talking about it. Yes, I'm over 18, Imager. So you go to Dono Chat, which I'm surprised nobody uh, has made this connection. It says critical.video right there on Dono Chat. So the same people who are working directly with Nick Fuentes are the same people who are responsible for the infrastructure of Dono.chat. And it's linked right there on their site. Now, I talked about this as well. Critical.video, go ahead. America First Overlord sent $3 payments to oh, Nick Fuentes Incorporated. Take a Google of that, Ralph. I'll look at that. That may be entropy then. So maybe his, that's why I said I couldn't confirm that his actual super chat was run by critical.video. I believe that's entropy. So we can't say that, but critical.video works directly with America First. They've worked with me in the past. I talked about this. Critical.video hosted killstream.tv back then. Now, I didn't know. I didn't make that connection until later on. But they actually hosted killstream.tv. Now, you may remember killstream.tv. I enjoyed it. A lot of people enjoyed it while it was still up. But killstream.tv was massively hacked and all, not like credit card data, but addresses and emails of the users were leaked. So... This is a service. <laughs> this is a service that is dodgy to say the least. And there have been no questions asked about this at all. And if you look at who runs critical.video, you'll see a guy named Brian Royce. Now, Brian Royce used to be the CEO of Epic, which is a registrar that um, 
you know, is behind a lot of dissident websites, honestly. He's no longer the CEO, according to LinkedIn, and I'll show that in a minute. But you know what he is the CEO of? Critical dot video. Well, I'll be damned. Now, he didn't come aboard until after I had already, you know, well, it wasn't me. They were supposed to be the ones running it. Whatever. After Killstream.tv got hacked, Brian Royce, who is also being sued for $307,000 after Epic allegedly stole escrow money meant for the purchase of Nourish.com, which I have no idea what that is. Uh, he's accused of fraudulent misrepresentation, violation of the Washington Consumer Protections Act, violations of the Racketeer Influence and Corruption, Corrupt Organizations Act, a.k.a. RICO, unjust enrichment and conversion. Here's a copy of the lawsuit filed against him. Now, we know sometimes lawsuits don't have merit, but um, these are the things he's being accused of. Lawsuit alleges that Epic was running a Ponzi-like scheme with funds taken in from unsuspecting new customers, which were later sent to other customers to pay off their debts. And you can read the full lawsuit. Maybe we will later. But um, character Brian... Roy now, this is according to the article. I'm not making any personal allegations myself. The character Brian Royce has been called into question a number of other times after he called a client he owed money to as part of Epic an asshole. He also presided over the implosion of Epic, which is currently under investigation from the FBI. Then they go on to say, this is the main reason why, why dealing with critical dot video is probably not a good idea. Then he has a company called Unified Commerce, uh, which is accused of stealing money from customers, basically, without their authorization. And then here's a, a screenshot showing that. Critical dot video doesn't get any organic search engine traffic. A company that helps to claim that claims to help launch video sites when they can't get any search engine traffic for their own website is a massive red flag, according to this. If they can't rank their own site, how are they going to help you? Well, that seems like a a fair question. Again, this is the company that runs the backbone of Dono Chat, which is the main payment processor. For the Kino Casino. Now, normally, I wouldn't even go here because I kind of, I, if you'll notice, I guess there's been some exceptions here or there when I was really on the warpath or whatever. And quite frankly, going against Josh Moon, who, you know, we built a bridge back and, you know, regret a lot of that stuff. But I try. And apologize for it the other day, although I saw some people said I didn't apologize hard enough. I don't know. That's up, that's up to you guys to decide. I'm not going to say I, I've never done it, but I try not to go after people's money in this way. But they made it a point to do that last night, and so I feel like this is a proper uh, analysis here of just who and what is behind Dono Chat. And they just want to ask questions about Payment services, right? No big deal. Well, I'm just asking a few questions here on the kill stream. And people can make up their own minds. But um, I think I think this all kind of speaks for itself, really. Um, and you can decide whether you want to use Dono Chat or not. It doesn't bother me. Um, and you can decide whether you want to use Power Chat. I think um, it's proven to be a very cool... Uh, TTS option here on the kill stream. Um, I would say it's probably the best TTS service in the game, really, um, with all the different voices and uh, ease of use for streamers, etc. They don't have any bars for entry. It's not like Streamlabs where you just get thrown off for no reason. Stream elements the same way. Um, you know, maybe you don't like lulls. Maybe you don't like baked. You don't want to use it. That's fine. There's other options, like I said. But I think PowerChat has shown to be a very good service. And the charges lobbed in its direction are complete bullshit. And the ones last night weren't even just bullshit. It was like out of this world falsity. To the point where you had fat ass sitting there saying that Nick Fuentes was on the board. When Nick Fuentes just banned lulls 
from Cozy for calling out Ali Alexander, which we'll get to in a minute, and doesn't even use Power Chat and actually stole the Power Chat source code, according to sources. So it doesn't even make sense in any way whatsoever. And again, I only saw the last five or 10 minutes of that last night, but it was an absolute travesty. Lulz went in there thinking there was going to be some type of uh, good faith back and forth, and there was none. There was none. Of course, he made a mistake going on there in the first place. I was the first one to say that, and I was very heated about it because I knew what a mistake it was. And it, I turned out to be very right, more right than I wanted to be. Um, but, you know, Lulz is a, is a nice guy. Lulz is an IP2 streamer. You know, he's not really looking for the turn like that. He's not really looking for the snake like that. And you could tell if you watch that segment, at least the part I watched, where he's just, and he even said that in chat later and, and elsewhere, like he wasn't even really prepared for walking into the snake pit like that. And, you know, he got some bad advice and decided to do it. And I understand, you know, these things happen. But uh, he's not really, you know, maybe if he had thought about it, maybe if he had been on guard, he would have been ready. But um, they just, you know, bum rushed him basically and put out their narrative and then tossed him off and continued to rant crazily for 10 or 15 minutes after. So it was complete bullshit then, it's complete bullshit now. And if we're just asking questions, I say we ask a few questions about Dono Chat and just who is behind that. What's going on there? And I think we know, you know, about Andrew Wilson's recent uh, activities, which they've been critical of themselves on Twitter, PPP and Worski both, but yet they still use Dono Chat. Now they haven't talked about critical.video which is behind the infrastructure. And they're listed on the fucking page, right? I mean, it's right there. It's not hidden. Critical dot video, right there. So if we want to ask a few questions, I think it's only fair to ask a few questions about Dono Chat. Now, we're going to have lulls and baked on here at some point today. So, you know, we'll talk about it more um, when we get to them. Oh, wow. See, I just got a message about that right now. Some people are sending me shit live during the, during the show. Epic is very shady. I'll just read that. <laughs> See, I've heard a lot. I've heard a lot even before air. I'm hearing more now. So if we're just asking questions, I say we ask a few questions. Um, and... You know, Lulz and the team created Power Chat for this, not necessarily our sector. You know, it started off with IP2, and a lot of us got in on it. And it's grown and, you know, added a lot of new features and a lot of stuff like that. But it was it's kind of a passion project, right? Because Streamlabs kicked a lot of us off. Because Stream Elements kicked a lot of us off. And, you know, it's done well. But it costs a lot of money to develop Power Chat in the first place. It's more of a, you know, watch it grow and then hopefully pays off later type deal, right? They're still recouping. I mean, they can talk about it if they want, but, you know, there's a lot of money that went into Power Chat, <laughs> right? And you can tell because you can just compare it to some of these other services. I like some of the other services too, but. It has way more features, way more options. If you look at the back end, like I don't have it set up now because I lost my Litecoin wallet, but you can get Litecoin donos and all this stuff. And they've consistently added more and more to it. And the things they've gotten. And they've let people they don't like use it. And the things they've gotten is people trying to tear it down and trying to make up lies about it and... Let's try to dox this person we think's involved. Let's try to swarm this person's Twitter we think's involved and just make up bullshit about it. And really, it's if you listen to what Fat Ass said, it's really 
to try to run game on me and try to use it as an attack vector against me because they see the kill stream rising just like everybody else sees. They know we've been killing it. They've, you know, relegated themselves to talking about you know, the nostalgia critic and war horse, war corpse, whatever that fucker's name is, and retreated to kick. They didn't even do a show on Friday, which is their main time slot. I wonder why. Hmm. So this was a calculated attack on me, really, using Power Chat as the vector. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because, like I said, I feel like it's a distraction. I'm not going to make the whole show about it. I got a ton of emails. Um, somebody said payback for Medic or Mascus. Well, you know what? Uh, if you knew all the shit these fuckers did during the summer, which will come out, and I've alluded to it before, uh, you would think that was playing patty cake. Medic or Masochist name coming out, which was due to Worski himself, who leaked the information on his stream. But like I said, uh, all that will eventually come out, I'm sure. And I think people, um, plugged in people probably know what I'm alluding to. Anonymous sent $3. Once your total victory of AF is complete, focus your efforts on those banning faggots on Kino Casino. You've already run them off YouTube. Time to run them off the internet. Well, you know, I got a lot of emails and a lot of commentary about come out and say this and come out and do that. And a couple of people were like, don't do this, don't do that. Um, you know, I was always going to address this. I was always going to talk about Dono Chat. Uh, but a lot of people would like me to go a lot harder. And that's still on the table for sure. But I think actually laying that out like I just did, talking about it a little bit, and we're going to have lols and baked on as well. And then just pointing out, and I said this on Twitter last night, it's quite obvious who's serious about going after America first and who's not. It's quite obvious who's interested in splitting the anti-America first coalition for a few extra bucks on kick and who's not. And I'm not really interested in going down that road. If I have to, I will, for sure. <laughs> if I have to, I will. But I, I think it's better to let it speak for itself, really. Punished Farfour sent $3. There's a reason Ali's old Dono scam sites were hosted on Epic. Just saying. Well, like I said, I was getting messages during this about Epic being shady as fuck. Um, but I think, you know, you can just compare and contrast what I'm doing here. You saw the show we did on Friday where we even tried to have those two fucks involved, which they're too cowardly to do and too self-absorbed to do. And I don't like either one of those people. So I w it wasn't bringing them on because I wanted to do anything good for them. I don't. It was bringing them on to do something bad to America first. Code sent $5 that Fat Dyke is just salty because his fans bullied him off of using Power Chat. This is because Yobo was involved. That's right. That's right. And that's what happened. But like I said, I can always go back to the well. We can always fire it up full speed. Uh, if that's the necessary course, but I'd rather just compare and contrast what we did on Friday, what we've done the last month versus what they've done the last two years and specifically the last month. In one month, this show and other people, by the way, it's not just me, but I like to think we helped lead the push on this, and I think that's true, has done more sustained and serious damage to America first than they did in two years. And they're salty about it, and they want to try to tear it down. Now, that's not the type of action you take if you're really concerned with de defeating America first. That's the type of action you take if you're concerned with your wallet, and you're concerned you're not making as much money as you think you should make, or you're threatened by a rival program hitting its stride again. And it shows weakness, not strength. It shows a cowardly nature, not a strong nature. And again, like I said, I could, it's ego and pride. That's right. Wow. And again, I don't like those two guys. That's known. But I was willing to put it all to the side and just drop everything. And I have dropped things with a lot of different people. Now, all of them are better than those two people. 
more worthy, better entertainers, better everything. But I was willing to completely drop everything with them as well. Said so publicly, and they spit in my face, basically, which is fine. But they didn't just keep it there. Now they want to attack Power Chat. Now they want to make up lies and, you know, go down this road. And I have taken a few pokes, but it's mainly about him being a fat fuck who can't even get up out of his chair. Or And I didn't even really take that many shots at Aborski the last couple months, the last month at least. You know, a couple jabs here and there. Where are they at? They're taking a week off. They're not working that hard. You know, like light stuff. And that was only because they were talking shit about me. And even Friday, yeah, I took a couple little pokes at the end of the show. But what I said was true. You're not going to see that type of show on their show. They just don't do what I do. Now, maybe you like what they do. That's fine. But they don't do what I do. They don't have the guests I have. They don't have the events I have. They don't have the debates I have. They don't travel the world like I do and give you coverage like that. And it's just a fact. So, yeah, I mean, I have the right to be proud of my own, <laughs> my own program, my own work. But I feel like those are really kind of light jabs and above board. Really. So, again, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but those are my thoughts. Adol Wolf sent $3, just wanted to say I love you, buddy, and salute the chat for being real oh, homies. Too, Why for Yoba and R for Ralph? Let's go. Let's go. I appreciate that, Ada Wolf. And Yoba's going to be on here at some point. And I imagine we'll talk about it some. But like I said, I don't want to let it detract from what I'm doing. And I did want to address it at the top. And I did want to put my thoughts out there. But I, I think that really the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. America First Overlord sent $3. Will you ever go on the wings slash boogie slash Tommy C show? Uh, if they asked me, yeah, probably. Um, I would consider it at least. I, I don't really see why not. Yeah, I, I might do it if they asked me. Dawson asked me to come on his McCain stream this Friday. So, and I may or may not be taking Friday off. I don't know. I got to see what time this commitment is that I have to go to. Um... Not an actual commitment, like mental commitment, uh, <laughs> like committing somebody to the asylum. I got to see what time that is. I expect to do a show, though. If I do, I'll probably cross the streams. Uh, but Dawson asked me to come on his uh, McCain tribute, quote unquote, uh, show. So I'm trying to do more shows. I didn't do any this weekend, but that's the first weekend, I think, the last month that I haven't went on another show. So. Pua sent $3. Who gives a fuck about me, Toka Masochist? He was a logging you for years, and you're supposed to respect his anonymity like some innocent bystander. He should have stayed offline. Well, that's true, and he was trying to coordinate my location and doing all kinds of shit. I wish I hadn't done that just because uh, it gave them a talking point. Um, but there's a very good uh, reason why I did that. They engaged in doxing this summer, and uh, I haven't fully talked about it. Um but one day I will, and I've alluded to it uh, quite heavily. And like I said, those who can figure it out have stated it already in chat. Um, but they started down that road. They started down that road, and they did it in a uh, very uh, flamboyant and ridiculous fashion. And they should be thankful that I just answered in that manner, actually. They should be very thankful. Um that I was asked by several people uh, not to make it uh, the deal that it should be, and um, I'll just uh, I'll just leave that there. But um, if I stated it, it would immediately be clear. And I didn't really dox him. That was Worski who put out his information. Now the pieces were put together and uh, presented to me, and I wish I hadn't done it just because it gives them a talking point. But I don't feel any regret about it. And if I stated the reason, you would know why. So, whatever. I'm not going to go into it uh, because now is not the time. But I'm sure, um, I'm sure it will be gone into at some point. But um, I didn't start that. They started that. 
they started that. I didn't put out the guy's address. We called him up on air. Prank called him on air. Now, should I have done that? No, probably not. But, yeah, I know it was already out there. But, you know, I still shouldn't have done it just because it, it detracted from what I was doing. And that's why I'm not trying to, you know, I'm trying to explain this. I'm trying to talk about it. But I'm not going to do like an hour on it. I'm not going to make it the whole focal point of the show. You see it's not even in the title. And it's better for me to just talk about it at the top, I figured. Kingman knows what he's talking about in chat. Let's just put it that way. So, again, uh, I did want to talk about it. I did want to address it. But I'm doing something else more important than those two retards. And, you know, if they're going after America first, uh, that's good. But you see that that's not really what they're about now. They're about trying to go after people. Lowell's just got kicked off Cozy last night. Why not talk to him about the shit he said about Fuentes and Ali Alexander? Why not focus on that? Instead, they try to settle scores with Lowell's. They, they talked all this shit about Baked, who actually contributed to their show last night. They're laughing at Lowell's getting arrested. You know... Which is, you know, do that, but, like, it's clear they've kind of shifted missions. And they're trying to settle scores with me. And I don't like those guys. I just said that. But if you're really focused on taking down America first, why are you trying to go after me? Adol Wolf sent $3. Worski docks people all the time. I know. Fuck that crying bullshit. Boo-hoo slut. <laughs> Fucking seriously. He's worked with Zoom and Plate and lots of groups to fuck with people that have fucked him. Crying that. fucking out loud after I was trying to be nice to. Yeah, I know all that. I know all that, so it rings very hollow when I hear those talking points coming from Worski. And to be fair, I've doxed people over the years, too. I've never hid that, trying to get away from that, although we do have Gr <laughs> Grimsy's video today, which goes into the Feaser system. But it's already out there now. You know, it is what it is. I feel like um, always going into full war mode has detracted from my show. That's another reason you know, I got a whole list of things. Somebody emailed me and was like, you need to start saying this about Worski every time you talk about it. You need to start saying this about PPV every time you talk about it. And by the way, I completely understand that email <laughs> and sympathize with it greatly. But, you know, I I'll just let this be put out there and let people make up their own minds and then take it from there uh, depending on their future activities. Um... But again, they're the ones trying to split the anti-America first coalition based on um, personal conflicts they have with certain people. And they even took they even took a, a, a not not even a veiled shot, but kind of a shot at Jaden. I didn't even understand that. PB was like, if, if Jaden needs to get swept, he'll get swept. This is after he banned laws in the chat. And I was like, what the fuck? Where did that even come from? And I'm not trying to drag him into it. I'm just saying, like. These guys are just scattershotting everywhere. Scatter shooting, I guess. And, you know, I don't know if that was a joke or he was being serious or what. But it definitely happened. And I was definitely like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know if that's because he was on the show Friday or, you know, he was just saying anybody can get swept or what. I Like, I really don't know. I can't interpret uh, what he meant there. But um, it was strange. It was very strange, especially since... And again, I'm not trying to drag Jaden into it. I don't want to do that. But I was like, what? It was just it was just bizarre. It was just bizarre. Well, he did get some subs on kick out of it. That's true. But that's not what it's about for me. Of course, everybody wants to make money. Everybody wants to be supported. I have a goal for a reason. And, you know, definitely if I don't make enough money, that's bad. <laughs> especially if it happens consistently, that's not good. But that's not what it's about for me. And could I squeeze some more money if I just went out here on a tirade against them? Yeah, probably. But that's not that's not what it's about. I'm trying to be more focused. I'm trying to be more um, thoughtful in what I'm doing. And still have fun, of course. I'm still an entertainer. But Kingman says PPP was definitely being serious. The guy's a chronic seater. I don't know. It's really weird. Punished Farfour sent $3 PPP and Tartsky's problem isn't even personal. It's financial. 
they know you're dominating the anti-AF contingent now. You're threatening their meal ticket. All they have left is laughing at a family at a buffet. Yeah, but see, that's that's scarcity mindset. There's plenty enough support and money to go around for everybody. I know that's hard for <laughs> certain people to believe. Oh, <coughs> Warski. Um, but that's a scarcity mindset. And I've had people in my ear saying, I need to go at Kino Casino this whole entire time. Including top guys. Just like, you know what? You're letting them off the hook. You know what? You need to be attacking Casino. da 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 da, da. And I've taken some light jazz, but that's it. And it's because I'm doing something more important, and also I don't have that mindset. I know that if I do good shows, it's going to be supported. I know that if I keep, you know, dominating America first, it's going to be supported. So, lulls an hour. L1 Merrant sent $10 halfway through catching up on the FCF. Thank you. Thought you deserved some more shekels for putting that together. Keep killing it, Ralph. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you. I was proud of that show. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to belabor it uh, too much more, but just uh, just very, very bizarre. And I had another guy show uh, telling me, he's like, you know what? And I, you know, I, I didn't think um, it was a good look for lulls because it was a stacked deck. But this guy is more of a detached observer, and he's like, actually, they looked like the Seethers. They, they're the ones who looked crazy uh, with their – whole inquisition stack deck and in inquisition there that they're the ones who look bad so it's in the eye of the beholder i don't think lol should have went on but um you know uh, opinions definitely differ on on what just uh, occurred last night shamu in the chat says old habits die hard for guys like warski usually in ways that don't benefit him should be interesting yeah i know you know warski cackling and i played the good cop and da -da -da -da. it's like yeah okay yeah, you're the master. Yeah, you're the master. The real intellect behind the Kino Casino, whatever. It just, I mean, it's laughable. It's laughable. <laughs> it's laughable and just bizarre. And there was something else I was going to say, um, but I can't remember now. I just remembered that, that comment about Shane. And I was like, what is this guy even, what is he mad about? Like, I don't know. It was fat cop retard cop. Yeah, that's more accurate. I don't know. I just thought it was uh, quite bizarre as we have. Let's see how many people do we have. Let me pull up the other Rumble. About 800 on Rumble. I don't know how many we have on Kick. Uh, about 30 maybe. I can't see. I have to refresh. About 40 actually. 40 on Kick. Shout out to Kick. Um, but those are my thoughts there uh, as far as everything goes. If I think of something else... To say later, I'll say it. Ada Wolf said, um, Lull should be on here in about an hour. Yoba's coming on uh, at some point, too. But, um, I don't know. Uh, Mrs. Randy Williams in chat says, PPP was insulting Lulz for his IP2 stuff. And, see, I didn't see that part, but I heard about it. And making a fool of himself for money. Meanwhile, the lard was slapping its huge belly and drinking shots for Donald's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so much more elevated. Um, and you can like IP2 or not. But uh, just uh, laughable talking points. And then PvP goes on this crazy, you know, just weird rant. I don't know. It was, uh, I may pull it up later, but I think I, I don't really think I want to, honestly. Uh, I think I kind of, I think I kind of gave my response uh, there. Water Slugger says, a wounded animal will always lash out when you try to help. It. Yeah, and again, I try to put all this to bed. You see what type of shit they're on. So I'll just let it speak for itself, that part of it. Um, and you can see what I'm doing versus what they're doing. And yes, I answered it. Uh, and yes, I'll answer any other bullshit they throw out there. But I, I feel like it's really a distraction uh, from the main event, from the main thrust of the show over the last month. And it's going to continue to be for quite some time. Now, are there going to be days that it's not talked about as much. Well, yeah, sure, because we have other stuff to do, other stuff to cover. It's not going to be every waking second of the show because that's how you kill your show. But, yeah, it's going to be a front burner issue from now until these fuckers are done. And I made that promise to the audience. I made that promise to the public. I made that promise to the pedophile cult themselves. And I ain't backing off of it. I don't care how many times these fucking losers tag me on Twitter. And say, like, oh, Ryan, why don't you do something else? Da, da, da. It's because I'm effective as fuck. And it's not just me. 
There's a lot of others too. But there's a reason. They're like, oh, Rob, want you to stop? Want you to stop? Nah, fucker, I'm not stopping. Fuck you. Fuck out of here. I'm not stopping till they're dropping. Fuck you, motherfucker. Oh, Rob, why don't you focus on this or stop talking about America first? No, bitch. Fuck out of here. And I get that shit every day. And it's a, some fucking brain dead griper. Oh, why don't you stop? Why don't you stop? You used to like Nick. I don't like the motherfucker now, and I never really did. I think that's pretty obvious. Because he's a weird fucking faggot. He's always been a weird fucking faggot. He's always been a snake bitch. Now, did I try to, like, look away from it and not accept that? Yeah, for sure. But I always knew that. Did I try to run spin for him? Did I attack his enemies? Yeah, I did all that. But I'm not doing that now. And I've been very effective with what I have been doing, attacking his fucking decrepit and corrupt organization. So that talking point is just garbage as well. Oh, Ralph used to be cool with him. Yeah, so what? A lot of times throughout history, the most effective enemies are former allies. There's a million examples of this. And yeah, I've come out and apologized for some shit I did. I've come out and said I was wrong about a lot of shit I did. Because I feel like that's part of it. You have to be honest. You have to tell people, you know, what got you here and, you know, some of you, some of your bad deeds, some of the things you did that were wrong. But me having spent time there, having spent time, it's like with Jaden, who was even deep, more deeply embedded, right? Well, there's a reason he's been so effective the last two years because he, he knows everything about these motherfuckers. Or a year and a half, however long it's been. And times change, people change, shows change. Like, that's not, I don't know, that whole talking point is just bullshit. It's like, yeah, that's true. Some of what they say is true. Yeah, you're right. I did run, I did run defense for him. Yeah, I was on Cozy. I'm not doing either one of those things. Now I'm on offense and fuck Cozy. And I just did a whole festival dedicated to that. Me and Jesse took over their whole fucking site. And they 404'd another streamer yesterday, Lulz, for questioning the Ali Alexander connection. Adding, I don't even know how many that is now. A lot. A lot of people. So, you know, yeah. I mean, I was there for a while. Way too long. Yes, I did turn a blind eye to a lot of stuff. No, I didn't do the proper due diligence in terms of just knowing who the fuck these people are, their rank and file. That's all true. Yes, I did have an abhorrent response to the Ali Alexander stuff at first. Now, you noticed I even dropped that when I was there. I was like, oh, uh, when I sobered up for a day or two, I was like, okay, this is whatever. Right now, I still didn't call it out. I still didn't do the right things. And I've apologized for that. And I'll continue to apologize for it. But that doesn't negate anything that I'm doing now. So, anyway, this is Lulz last night as he got banned from Cozy.TV, and I actually haven't watched the clip yet because I knew I would be watching it on the kill stream with all of you as we are 19% of the way there on the sixth hour fund, the sixth hour transformer fund. All right, let's go ahead and hit it. Right, and this is VHS Archive who uploaded this to Rumble which I'm glad because I was going to have to pull up something else to play their stuff on Twitter. But uh, <laughs> I think I may follow on my account. I'm never logged into to Rumble on uh, on the incognito, but I'll make sure to go and follow with this account. But if you'll see here, I'm not signed in. See where it says sign in. Yeah, it just says don't use my <laughs> videos without subscribing. Well, I can't subscribe here because... I'm not even logged in, but okay, now let's play this. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.